For ages, followers of Jesus have been hearing from him using a process called Lectio Divina, which is Latin for divine reading. This is coined by a Carthusian monk in the 12th century who wrote down his process for engaging in divine conversation. It looks something like this. After calming himself, he began with Lectio, slowly reading the selected Bible passage, most likely several times. Next, Meditatio, pondering the text, imagining from many angles, followed by Oratio, praying the passage, responding to God with his thoughts and feelings. And finally, Contemplatio, contemplating in silent prayer, listening for impressions or promptings from God. For the purposes of this video, we're going to translate those steps into read, explore, pray, and listen. We're keeping the process the same, just updating with modern terms. Apologies to any Latin lovers out there. But before we jump in, this is a reflective meditation adjacent activity, so it could be helpful to calm yourself before starting. Some breathing exercises, a short prayer, something that relaxes the body and mind and puts you in the right headspace for a conversation with God. Whatever works best for you. Now that we're nice and calm, let's read a passage from the Bible. The goal here is to slowly and thoughtfully familiarize ourselves with the text. If it's a story, we want to know the characters involved. Did it take place during a specific holiday or feast? That could inform why people are acting the way they are. Is this a letter? Who is it written to? A town? A single person? Maybe this is a poem with an unknown author. What kind of scene are they setting? Where does this fit into God's bigger story? Really absorb yourself into the text. Once we have a solid foundation, we want to explore every inch of it. The first step was about understanding, but now we want to use our imaginations and make it personal. Picture yourself as a bystander watching or listening to the events unfold. Does this verse remind you of another story or make you feel a certain way? Do you wonder if these characters ever interacted? Was Jesus the only one who wore a sash or was it a popular style? Did he wear a sash? Why does everyone paint Jesus wearing a sash? This step lends itself to the little bunny trails that the mind wanders into. We don't want to wander away from the reading, but we do want to interact with it naturally. Make a point of noting what stood out to you. Next, we respond and pray what we read back to God. We take all those feelings and questions and express them directly to him. He can handle your honest feelings about his word, and there is truth in them to be shared with you. Be open and honest in your conversations with God. And finally, we rest and listen. Like any conversation with a friend, our goal is not strictly information, but mm. enjoying being together. And this is an opportunity to do that with God, just like he enjoys us and wants to be with us. So what does that look like? Well, God rarely ever speaks in an audible voice. The, the main vehicle for speaking with us is through his word. So during this step, we need to be attentive listeners in regard to those words. How is God speaking to me through what I've read? How does God respond to my questions based on what I know about him? Take a moment and rest with a God who knows you and loves you. And that's our guide to divine conversation. Reading, exploring, praying, and listening. Treating the Bible like the living word of God that it's supposed to be.